Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to round four. The ARG presents state championship here at beautiful Miami, Florida at the PPG headquarters. Well, I like to call it, I call it the PPG headquarters, but it's this awesome shop here in Miami, uh, Florida, the PPG shop. Amazing. One of the best shops I've ever been in. Uh, very clean, very nice, and uh, home to some of the best Dragon Ball Super players in the world, as it turns out. Uh, again, uh, f they, they actually, uh, four of the five regional championship uh, champions uh, actually uh, are from this shop. Uh, you know, uh, essentially, you know, are sponsored by the shop. And then five of them are from this state. So I, I would dare to say this is probably the most competitive state championship uh, that you can possibly play at. And they are sold out, over 100 players here. Uh, I think the final count uh, after round one was 94 players. So just fantastic uh, event, uh, really well uh, organized. We have Justin Traver on the left here, the gray player, playing blue-green Soul Striker. Then we have David Rodriguez on the right playing blue-green Cell. Uh, this is kind of the, the, matches that, the, the matchup I kind of expected to see whenever we were playing. I expected to see these two decks battling. Uh, for the most of the day, most players are undefeated. And table, this is actually table one. So this is the top table right here, uh, live from, again, from Miami, Florida. Um, pretty interesting matchup. Again, this matchup is very similar uh, to Androids, except Cell has a little bit more control. And so what Cell wants to do is he doesn't rely as much on the Cell chain uh, to get you down uh, as he does, uh, as Androids do. Because what Androids want to do, they want to get your, they want to cut your hand down with Androids, and they want to try to punish you and uh, deal damage to you uh, before you can build your hand back up. What Cell wants to do is Cell actually just waits. He just sits there, plays the normal game. You know what? I'm going to sit here. I want to keep putting cards under my guy. I'm going to keep, uh, you know, building a board advantage. And then I'm going to finally, once you awaken and get some card advantage, I'm going to strip you down and I'm going to start killing your threats every turn. That's what Cell does. Uh, and so this deck is uh, definitely uh, more of a control deck where obviously Android is the more uh, aggressive variant. Uh, again, uh, two extremely powerful decks. And again, the first thing Soul Shaker has to do here is find a way to efficiently clear his hand out of threats. And he does that. Uh, with with the Gohan very early into the game, I love it. I love to see this. It's one of my favorite plays to do against these decks because you're essentially getting a card out of your hand, but it, but putting it into the board so it's efficient. Also, I'm gonna take a look at Justin's list here. It looks like Justin, uh, like most um, Soul Striker players, has cut Objection from the list. Again, Objection being a fantastic way to get some advantage as well in the matchup. Okay, we'll see what these players are gonna do. They're starting to get into their fourth uh, energy turns, which uh, where the action starts happening. See what these players decide to play. Justin running, um, I'm trying to see how many results, running three results, which is pretty much the standard. Let's see what he's going to do here. A lot, of, a lot of things, a lot of things that can happen. See a Super Saiyan Go tanks down energy here for Tra Justin as well. So that's one green. He needs one more, one more green energy to turn on his entire deck. Two green, two blue is all you need. David's going to uh, use his Cell's Birth here to play out his 5-drop Cell to take a damage and go to 6 and make his opponent discard a card out of hand. A lot of good cards in Justin's hand. We do see the results, which is important. So he can't choose results. Probably shouldn't choose the Piccolos. Going to go Sitsu Beat. I like this choice. Uh, while Sitsu Beat is a powerful card, uh, Sitsu Beat not that great against Cell. Uh, again, Cell doesn't really try to win that way. Uh, but, you know, since you're being great against combo cards like uh, Frieza's, Gohan's, Vegeta's, again, Green's uh, combo card, a little lackluster in the offensive uh, side of things. Uh, so since you beans kind of not dead against Cell, but definitely not as advantageous as it is against some of these other matchups. So I do like the choice of pitching Cell from Justin. Show why he's at the top tables here. Okay, David attacking here, 10,000 into 10,000. Justin will take the damage here. Go to six. Do another result. So that's going to be a snap energy here. Drew all three of his results. This is the time you want to draw them. You draw them now, that's good. That means you get them out of your deck. Now you don't have any more dead cards in deck. All your cards do something. It's actually pretty good. Especially since you have the third one in hand ready to awaken next turn. Just inside attack in the cell here. Interesting. Yeah, just pass. Okay. Attacking the cell a little bit. Do a little damage to him. 
Well, I would say no combos. Was it a pass? It was just no combos. So David's going to take that hit. Get a five here. Oh, I guess he did pass. Okay. Just take a read here at this uh, dash pack um, cell here. Power still in cell is his name. Let's see what David decides to do here. Thinking if he wants to attack or not. All right, checking out the results. You guys say, <laughs> whose cuisine shall reign supreme? You guys have 100% of votes to <laughs> Blue Green Soldier Goku. Ambitious, guys. Ambitious uh, decision there. I actually think Cell's probably a little favored in this matchup. He's going to go down to four life here and be able to awaken. Uh, this is a pretty scary spot for Justin to be in. Now, again, Justin's going to be able to match his awaken next turn results, which is good. However, David, it's going to be up on cards with two cell on the field. All right, Justin taking taking the, the, the hit and going to five. All right, he's going to put uh, Chilling Terror under his opponent's, or uh, under his cell in order to draw two cards. Attack him for 20,000. See what Justin decides to do here. So he'll take that double strike and go three life already. Interesting choice by Justin here. Especially with results in hand. Because the thing is, results now becomes a dead card in his hand, which is whatever. But if he plays down his energy next turn, he won't have two green, so he can't play like Super Saiyan Gotenks or Kel or anything out that he might want to. Uh, play. Okay, so he's Gohan here to stop that the the second attack. Interesting play by Justin. Going on, already going another three life. David's in a situation now where he, he's possible. Uh, you could use both sides of the, rule, the ruler on, on each turn. Uh, the difference is that the, 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 the question was, uh, or the, the errata, uh, was that you can't, uh, that like effects don't carry through. So like Vegeta, you know, if he gets critical on the front side and he awakens, he loses critical. He doesn't keep it anymore. Why hasn't G Goku awakened yet? I think he's trying to play around Cell Chain maybe. We'll see what he decides to do here. I mean, there's a, a couple of different reasons why he might want to not awaken here, and we'll see what he decides to do. Okay, it's 20,000 into 15,000. This is double strike. Here comes Trunks. Draw him a card, draws a TN off that Trunks. Not the card you really want to see right now. Attack him for another twenty thousand double strike into David Cell. He's gonna pitch two cards. Stop it. A lot of pressure coming from Justin. I like this. Going fifteen thousand into David. David have what he wants to do here. He does have a negate in hand. Obviously, he can't use it. I see a TN that he can't use as well. It looks like three of his cards are dead. He's just gonna take it and go to three here. So now he ties it up three to three. Justin's going to decide to awaken here. Opening himself up a little bit to cell chain here, but maybe that's okay. He's having Super Saiyan Gotenks in hand. His next turn is going to be pretty ridiculous if he can keep anything on the field, though. It's going to be a little harder with that cell. Again, this is where cell, this is where cell us um, excels right now. He can put a card. He can put this TN under cell. Draw two cards. Kill the Beerus, attack and kill the, Go the, Gohan, the Gohan. Just devastating. His deck is just such a good... Cell is just such a good deck when played properly. And David has obviously been doing that all day. Uh, he's already at the top tables. Undefeated, 3-0.
Okay, here comes 18. He's going to search and get the 7 drop. This card is his opponent's hand down to 3 here. Two Piccolo in hand. It's like he's going to get... He has to keep the Piccolos, right? You'd think that he has to. He's actually going to choose a Piccolo to get rid of. Yeah, seeing Justin's hand, that Cell Drop makes me happy. Absolutely. I mean, cell, the Cell Drop is always just interesting to see. It's so many cards. Okay, here comes that, that uh, double draw here. He's attacking 15,000 into his leader here, opponent's leader. All right, he's attacking 30,000 double striking, and here is the negate. Again, we say this all the time. We said this during our first match, and we'll say it again. One of the best things that you can keep off of a cell chain uh, as Soul Striker player is a negate, a removal for cell, and then any other card, right? Any other card's fine. So I think that's exactly what Justin did. I think he went negate, cell chain. I mean, it's negate, removal spell, and piccolo. Just sounds awesome. So actually, three amazing cards to pick off of this. Uh, again, Justin's going to have to use a card as energy here because he wants to turn on that two green. After this, though, if I was Justin, I would stop playing energy. <laughs> you want to start getting some cards back in hand. You don't need that many uh, energy down as uh, as Goku. As you stop around six or seven energy. I think you can stop a turn earlier uh, against uh, a good sell. All right, here he's talking 25,000 double strike into David. He was using the gate. Can't quite see Justin's hand. Looks like he might have a golden freeze in hand that he might be able to try to use. Ooh, looks like he got a Gohan off that. Pretty good grab. A Gohan can be pretty good right here. A Furious Joe Vegeta. Interesting. His opponent taking a quick read about this. Of course, Furious of Vegeta being uh, the card that you can active main, take a card out of your life, put it in the drop area, KO uh, a player's uh, battle card. Also has Double Strike. All right. Justin going to just kill Cell. Pass turn. Justin goes on the one life to David's two. Yeah, so now, now that Justin's at one life here, it's going to be uh, interesting to see what he does to survive this turn. I mean, honestly, any card on David's side is is lethal now. Like, even this time, Patrol Trunks is lethal, and David only has three cards in hand. So, not really sure what's going to happen here. Drawing two cards. David putting that in the gate under uh, Cell tells me that David's going in this turn. This is David's turn to shine. He wants this to be his victory. He's going to throw that in the gate away and see if he can get some better cards here. Going Trunks, draw a card. What else does he want to play? Maybe that's it. Maybe we'll just go 25. Nope. 25. 30, 40, 50. Yeah, that's game. There's there's no way. Draw. Go on. Nothing else he can do. And that's game one. Very quickly going to David there. David Rodriguez taking it to one to nothing. Showing you guys that maybe Cell is a little favorite in this matchup. Maybe Cell is uh, going to, you know, win. We'll see. Again, Cell Chain, uh, again, can be very hard to play around. We saw uh, Justin uh, Traver there, you know, kind of misplay a little bit around the Cell Chain. Again, you have to be very cautious when you play around the Cell Chain and try to, it's always that that looming effect that is very hard to, uh, very hard to stop. And it's one of those things um, that's uh, very important to realize is that you know, as a Soul Striker player, you have to realize that you are getting 
you're getting cell chained. It's just going to happen, right? You can't hope they don't have it. You can't, you know, hope that they're not going to get the cards to do it. You just have to realize I'm going to get cell chained. It's going to happen. So you just have to make the most efficient plays possible to get around it. Uh, and there's multiple ways you can do that. We talked about it. Playing the Gohans out early is great. Playing a Jection to your deck helps a lot. You just have to find a ways to efficiently remove cards out of your hand so they don't just rip them out of your out, out of your hand unefficiently and like you know uh, punish you for it. Uh, so looking at Justin Travers' uh, sideboard here, we see three courageous heart Yajirobe. This is the two drop blocker uh, that has revenge. It's very powerful. We see three Sun Goten Family of Justice again, a very powerful uh, card as well. Uh, Father Son Kamehameha. This is essentially his counter to sell. It's the one cost uh, you can KO a card that has more energy than you do, so that's important. Um, again, it's really powerful when they go to the cell chain and kind of go up their chain very quickly. I expect to see Justin probably sideboard this card in. It's just super good. Two, expanding energy, Android 17. This is the one that draws you cards when it attacks uh, up to, back up to four. Very good against hand destruction. Very good against cell chain as well. Uh, we saw Chris um, Chris run this in round one, and it was very devastating. Very good card. Two, Zeno, the playing guy. I like this card a lot. It's pretty good in the mirror match. It can also be good against Vegeta if you can survive long enough, though it's not necessarily always possible. Two Piercing Super Saiyan, two Sun Gohan. Again, another card is very good against Vegeta if you can survive to, to cast a 7-drop. One Guard Charge Vegeta. I like that card a lot. Uh, very powerful critical, critical attacker. I expect to see uh, Justin bring in uh, the Father, Son, Kamehameha, and Expanding Energy, Android 17. That seems like good choices to me. David Rodriguez, on the other hand, is playing two Mass Saiyan in the sideboard. Two King Vegeta's Surprise Attack. Again, very good in the mirror in the uh, Soul Striker matchup. Um, so I can I can expect him to run the King Vegeta surprise attack here. This essentially uh, a lot of the times what will happen is um, Vegeta. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Goku uh, will attack into cards in order to try to remove them. King Vegeta surprise attack can oftentimes um, take advantage of that. Um, it can make you trade cards you probably normally shouldn't, uh, which is very 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 good. Uh, I like that card a lot. It's very, very powerful. Next up, we have uh, two full power trunks. This is the uh, the green trunks that has triple strike. Uh, extremely powerful. I like it a lot. Uh, then we have three Sun Goten Family of Justice. Again, uh, again, very good against uh, blockers, against low cost creatures. Probably not. We're not going to see that sideboard in against uh, Soul Striker. And three Ultimate Judgment Draco. Again, another Vegeta counter. And three Further uh, Destruction Champa. I actually like this card a lot against Soul Striker. A lot of times, Soul Striker doesn't really care about your leader attack. You know, so they'll go down to two life sometimes. And they'll be like, that's okay. Uh, I'll have negates or I'll have, you know, Bafubas or I'll have some way to deal with your attackers. I'm fine. I'll let your leader attack go through. And a lot of times you can catch them off guard with further uh, destruction Chompa. So I like to see three of those get put in and, uh, and possibly these King Vegeta surprise attacks, though I think Soul Strikers have kind of evolved a little bit into not really attacking your cards and just removing them with the, with, uh, with removal cards. Yeah, it's going to be interesting going into game two here. Both players' sideboards are very strong and uh, very very well well made. I'll tell you what, these players are getting much better with their sideboards. They're choosing much better sideboard cards. They're getting more niche cards, and they're actually using the sideboard uh, in order to uh, to uh, strengthen their, their weak matchups in unique ways. So they're not, tr not trying to cover all matchups. They're just saying, I'm playing Cell. I know I'm good against you know these decks. I don't need to be putting cards in that are good against these decks I've already beat. I'm going to put cards in that's good against these decks I can't beat, like Vegeta. Cell struggles against Vegeta unless they can get the Cell chain up very quickly. So, All right, these players are starting game two off very quickly. Okay, here we go. Turn two, another boo. So boo into a boo by our Goku player. Now again, very powerful play. Boo in the boo is good. I mean, it's uh, essentially used to normally dig for your your uh, results. Uh, it's also good targets for your Kel, which he does have one in hand. Again, remember, uh, Kel and Gohan are critical pieces in the Sun So in the in the Soul Striker Goku package. Essentially, two critical strikers that allow you to put pressure to your opponent uh, and knock them to low energy quickly. Uh, Justin doing the smart play here by attacking into Cell, knocking into 7. I always like that. Very smart play. Essentially, against any green leader, it's really smart to knock your opponent to 7. That way, if they TN, uh, they have to knock themselves to 3 to awaken, which is very powerful uh, for you. So, again, uh, if you're placing against a green leader, always think about that. 
can lock him to seven. Now on David's side, uh, it's really good if you think that's going to happen to try to protect yourself. However, green struggles right now with uh, powerful one drops that they can play out to protect themselves. Um, you know, like they don't have booze and they don't have bombas and all these, you know, one drops to be able to protect themselves the first turn. And so they're obviously, they're usually pretty weak the first turn of the game because of it. Making it pretty easy to knock him to seven. All right, take a look at David here. Look at David's deck here. I don't really see. Yeah, I was looking to see if I saw anything main board that, uh, that he might side right out. That's one thing about Cell. While Cell is a very powerful uh, deck, it, it runs a pretty tight ship. It doesn't really have much it could do. Uh, it has to run, you know, essentially uh, a specific amount of cards it has to run. It has to run the three drop Cell, five drop Cell, seven drop Cell. It has to run. Uh, the uh, the androids to uh, unit absorb them, and so it's really hard to, to kind of most cell decks look the same. And this is your typical blue green cell uh, cell deck. I don't see very many things that jump out on the paper at me. There's anything that's main board that I wouldn't expect. Okay, Justin going down to six energy already. I like it. Very aggressive with this life here. Also, we see Justin playing Zeno and, and Energy. I didn't notice this before. I don't know how I didn't. It's Zeno smiling at me, big old face. Uh, but that actually tells me that he's actually chose the sideboard and Zeno Samas in this matchup. Uh, seems kind of uh, seems kind of cool. I kind of like it. Again, you just wait to your opponent's. Uh, you put a lot of pressure on your opponent early, and then you Zeno Solomon them and, and make them shuffle uh, all those cards back in and go back to five. It's kind of a mini cell chain with only one card, uh, which is pretty cool. Justin's still running this Furious Hail Vegeta's. I, I'm not a huge fan of this card in the deck. I feel like it doesn't doesn't gain that much uh doesn't gain that much for him Let's see what he decides to do here though you'd have to think that that uh, raging attacker of is probably just better all right so here's three drop cell all right 1700 go get the five drop Right, killing Furious Hell here. Right. Now, what he'll go up to, whether he'll attack here or go up to Cell Chain is, is what we'll see here. Uh, Justin, not with the most cards I've ever seen anybody in his hand, only having what seems to be four or five cards. So, see what happens here. He's going to go swing in here for Double Strike. He's going to take it, go to three. Has no way to stop that. Yeah. David coming in with that snap seven drop here. Going to discard uh, Justin back down to three cards in hand. Has Princess Speed as one card. Definitely wants to probably keep that card in his hand. He does have a negate. So we talked about that negate. You want to keep that negate. You want to be able to negate sell. And then kill it the next turn. He is going to keep in the gate. Okay. So he's going to pitch two uh, Super Saiyan Go Tanks. And what appears to be maybe a result. And he's going to keep Princess P. Vegeta in the gate and another card we don't know yet. Okay. Just need to remove, needing to draw a removal spell. Like he drew two drop Goku, gonna put down his energy. Awaken, draw two cards, gonna play Trunks out for free. It looks like still no removal. Though he does have the ability to play Boo, so we're not, he's not out, you know, he's not out of the woods yet. He still has a potential to find it. So 
Interesting thinking. Might as well just play the sec the boo out. I want to play something out before you tackle Goku. Alright, there's Boo coming out. It's like he drew another Prince of Speed, possibly? Maybe it was a Piccolo. Justin trying to decide what he wants to do here. If he wants to tackle with Goku first, which it looks like he's going to. Going to what looks like to be 20,000 or 30,000 drawing card for the turn. We can't see what it is. Has two, has two Piccolos, a Goku, Prince of Speed, going to go up to 30,000. And he's going to force David to have a card. David does. Draws a Zeno. Actually, two energy short of playing it. Going to play out Goku here. Draw a card. Drew another Piccolo off that. Looks like he has three Piccolos now. Don't see Justin dying anytime soon. Going to pass the turret here to David with quite a bit of defense in hand. David put on Android 20, search for his deck. For a twin brother. All right, comes 30,000 double strike in. It's probably going to be a snap in the gate. There it is. Yep. He's going to make negate this 3,000 attacker, which gives him another turn to find a removal. He needs to find just about anything. Playing Kel down his energy. Kel not being good enough to actually kill this for of speed, as it turns out. Here, Justin is actually attacking into Cell without untapping any energy, desperation. Just trying to draw, trying to find any way to kill. Looks like he did draw a Gohan there, though, off that uh, Goku attack, which is going to be able to get this Cell off the field, but, man, not being able to untap two is pretty devastating. Goku finally finds his answer, which is, again, guys, why I talk about it's so important in your uh, Soul Striker Goku decks to run as much removal as you can fit in the deck. It allows you to not get in these situations like Justin is. Okay. Cell is going to put a card in her uh, cell here and kill. Goku. See what Justin's going to do here. A lot of options in hand now that he finally found a way to get rid of this cell. Which is really important. Try to build that hand back up a little bit here. Looks like you draw another Gohan onto that. And another Zeno. Does he actually run three Zeno in Cyborg? That doesn't seem like that can possibly be right. One is, one is, he runs two Zeno because I guess it's the same Zeno I just saw twice. Got Zeno on the brain. Ooh, John Beerus. Right, Justin deciding to pass with by not attacking with Prince of Speed. I'm a little confused why he decides not to. Um, he's at. 
His opponent's at three life. I'm trying to figure out why you might not want to attack in here, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Your opponent's at three life. I mean, I understand maybe not wanting to knock your opponent to one life, but you need to attack into your opponents as much as possible, Soul Striker. The whole pr purpose of playing the deck is for the attrition, right? You want to play something out, kill their guys, attack with your guys, make them use cards out of their hand, not take damage. If they take damage, you just keep grinding them out. Interesting play by Justin. It allows David to actually just attack into Gohan here. And then kill Prince of Speed. Attrition, your MTG is showing again, Dusty. No, attrition is just actually a word in gaming that we use a lot. You know, saying that, you know, it's essentially grinding your opponent out, right? Like, if David takes the hit from, uh, from Prince of Speed... And he's dead to any of your cards. <laughs> so, like, you know, all of a sudden, your Goku can pressure him every turn. Anything can play on the next turn can pressure him. You just have to keep pressuring your opponent. Um, that's what Soul Checker does best. It's the attrition deck. It's the mid-range deck. It's, you know, I'm going to play a big, scary guy, and I'm going to attack you with this big, scary guy. And you can never have... You always have more big, scary guys, and you'll have big, scary guys. And that's what it's supposed to do. And, um, and Justin's playing it uh, very interesting. In a very interesting way. figure out what's going to happen here. David again passing. David seems to be drawing a little dead here. His last two turns have been a little underwhelming. Alright, Super Saiyan Go Tinks. Here's this power play that Again, this is the play multiple double strikers a turn. And you have to think that this turn would be a lot more scary if uh, David had uh, you know, either ditched cards to save himself from the Prince of Speed or is that one life right now. Just playing both. Zenos and energy now, so we're not going to see any Zenos this game. Alright, Goku attacking 20,000 and 15,000 here. Running his two blue, go up to full energy. Let's see if Dave will take the silver strike. So that's 25,000 again, the magic number. You want to. 25,000 because that requires your opponent to go above a super combo. You can't just use a super combo to protect the attack. He has to go to super combo plus a card. It's really, really good. Hi, guys. Is that better? Probably sounds better. Any god decks make it to the event? I don't think so. I don't think we've seen any god decks make it to the event yet. Better? Okay, good guys. Alright, so here's Cell attacking at 15,000 into Goku here. Let's see what happens here. Alright, good. I'm glad it sounds better. That's my fault, guys. Sorry. Good. Glad it sounds better. Sounds like he's whispering. I'm just whispering to you guys. I'm sweet nothings about Dragon Ball. 
Very uncharacteristic board state here, actually, uh, for the Cell versus uh, Soul Striker matchup. Uh, usually, uh, Cell is able to clear uh, you know at least two threats a turn, but honestly, David's kind of skipped his turns the last the last three turns, not really having much in the way of pressure. We'll see what he decides to do here, though. His opponent's at three life. He's setting three life. I think he has maybe the ability to take this game out. We'll see. He does have Cell uh, Cell Chain in hand. He's going to use it to probably kill the Super Saiyan Gotenks here. See if David decides to attack uh, with his Double Striker here. This is going to be very uh, interesting uh, to see what he decides to do here. Uh, again, uh, the Soul Striker player deciding not to, not wanting to give his opponent an extra card. We'll see if David decides to go against that and just knock his opponent to one if possible. Again, I like that play a lot in the current matchup. I hope it's uh hope to see David do that. I like that. I always like knocking my opponent to one. Obviously, it kind of stinks, right? You give your opponent an extra card, that could be troublesome. But then you turn if you turn your your deck into being able to literally kill him with any card in your deck, which is really cool, especially with over own cards. Sweet nothings. Yes, I'll whisper sweet nothings into your ears. Welcome to the PPG stream. Kill Beerus. Okay, this is looking more like a cell board here. Clearing the board out. Knocking your opponent to one life. Have a mass saying in hand. Will he go for it? Two goes to go on, so the entire negate. Okay. Okay, that's a turn for David. Actually, a very, very powerful turn there for David. Knocking his opponent down to one life. I like this play a lot by David. I think David did it exactly right. Again, he knocked his opponent to one, which causes his opponent to have to use a lot of cards on a hand to stay alive uh, that turn. You know, of course, I think only he had he happened to have in the gate, so that's fine. But next turn. David's dead to a lot of stuff. David's dead to leader attack, cell attack, any overwhelm card, even trunks. Um, you know, just in a bad spot. And that's uh, that's what you want to do. You want to put your opponent into the defensive state. If you put your opponent in defensive state, uh, he's more likely to misplay. And he's more likely to go for your battle cards instead of your life, which is what you always want as a uh, control deck or as a slower deck. Okay, Goku's attacking 20,000 to 15,000 here. Goku into cell. There's a Piccolo drawing a card. Cell responds to Piccolo with TN. I mean, with uh, Trunks matching. He just needs to use one more card. Looks like he's going to use a Sansu Beam? No? Uses the Dash, pass, the dash Pack Cell. So I'll attack, see what. Uh, Justin has here. Again, killing that cell combo puts a lot of cards in over in the uh, drop area, turning on Overrealm for David. Though I think he had to do it. He can't just not do it. But here we go. 15,000 into 15,000 critical. Another Piccolo moving it up to 25k. See what David does here. Again, we hear that Justin keeps attacking with his leader first. The 30,000, the 15,000. David decided to sense being here. There's Kel. This Kel is actually going to draw him a card, too. He's at he's below five cards in hand. Draws a uh, gets a returning evil Frieza. Good card to draw. Sets him up nicely next turn if he actually makes it there. We do know that the cell player does have a cell's birth in hand, which is uh, you know, gonna be a good cell card. 
Looks like he's going to snap take that attack. Go to two. And pass turn. And here's here's the trunks we talked about. His opponent set this up perfectly by putting cards in hand. It's like he's going to have a 10. Double striker. Double striking Chompa doesn't really help you too much in this situation. But it looks like he snap picked it. Um, maybe he'll second guess that. We'll see. Why did he attack with leader first? Not sure, guys. That's what we talked about. We just said that multiple times. He seems to favor those those early attacks. Maybe he's just digging for a card that we don't know about, and he really wants to get it first. I don't know. My guess is he just has a card he's really trying to dig for. Uh, he doesn't, and if he, if he plays anything out, he won't have the, the energy to play it, even if he untaps the Goku. So that's my guess. Is there some card that he's trying to get? Some some card we don't know about, maybe, that he's trying to search for that he thinks will bring this game back to, to him. And if he plays any card out... Okay, here's a big cell. So attack with cell, dump hand here. Deciding to dump the trunks. There's Piccolo. So 15, 20, what is 15, 20, 30, 40, 50. His opponent goes up to, I guess, 55. I think that's a game. He just couldn't get there, I guess. I actually thought that was 55, but I guess he couldn't get there. He just showed his hand and said, I can't get there. Let's, let's, let's make, let's make a, either he couldn't get there or he did, and then David just decided to essentially concede, but that doesn't make too much sense that he would concede there, right? I think he can only get to 55. They picked up their, their card so fast, I didn't have a chance to exactly calculate what was going in there. But we're going to have, uh, uh, yeah, he, yeah, we're going to go check that out and make sure. It looks like our players are sideboarding again so i guess david just conceded i don't know it seems unlikely though maybe they're de sideboarding we'll see what's happening no it actually looks like they're they're de sideboarding i don't know interesting that, that like that david like it, 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 that he would concede i mean it's 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 probably somewhat likely that you lose the next turn but you can like get anything right like you can get hit and get a piccolo i mean get a trunks or get something well, like I said, we're going to go check them for sure, but I actually think that David just conceded. They seem to be mulliganed again. They seem to be shuffling their cards back up. Yeah, it looks like David just conceded. Huh? Game three? Yeah, that's what we thought. Yeah, looks like David conceded. It's really strange to me he did. I think he had three life, right? Huh. Huh? No, that's how you know it's something. Oh, okay. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, very interesting. The Spider-Verse. Hey, Dusty. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, yeah, two life. I mean, even a two life, though, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I guess a two life, you're probably dead, right? But I think you, you'd imagine you have to have your opponent, like, try it, right? Just pass turn. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess Kel, Kel is on the field, right? Yeah, he just tax with Kel first. I thought he was at three life, so that's my fault. The, the overlay say, said three, so I thought he was at three life. If he's at two life, obviously he just gets Kale attacked into Goku attack. There's nothing he can do with no hand. So that's my fault. I thought he had I thought he had three life. So I thought he I thought he was like essentially his opponent would have had to attack him with something else, which is extremely extremely you know likely. But I, I just was curious. Yeah, Kale the leader. Yeah, absolutely. If he only had two, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, he was at two, okay. Uh, <laughs> Go on, night day night. Dusty, it looks like you stayed up too late going over the rule changes. Does it look like that? Does it really? I'm sorry. Do I look like I'm tired? 
I apologize. Just really hot. It's just really hot here. What's going on here? What's up, Dusty? Rocking the tie again. I see. Yeah, I got the tie going, guys. Just waiting for our opponents to get the game all set up here. Get ready to go. Yeah. Does it really look like, I look like I'm tired? I'm not tired at all. I'm actually really excited. I'm not tired at all. I'm just, like I said, just it's very hot. It's very hot. Hot, hot, hot. So we're going to get into the game here right now. All right, here we go. Game's off to the start. Goku player putting Gohan down as energy. You hate to see that. That's one thing you definitely hate to see. Gohan, one of the most powerful cards in this matchup. Uh, it's your way to quickly kill Cell. If unless he can cheat Cell out with Cell's birth. Either way, it's a powerful way to, to, to deal with Cell. And David already awakening. Down the four life. David is uh, already down the four life. I'm going to awaken. All right, Justin playing out a combo card to stop this attack. And can start pressure attack. If I'm Justin, I just go all in here. I'm not all in, obviously. I just, I just keep attacking my opponent. I attack him with Gohans. I attack him with everything I have. I try to pressure off this TN. I just put so much pressure. If my pre if my opponent's going to awaken this fast and be this greedy, I'm going to try to punish him as much as best as I can. Obviously, David doesn't run any critical. Doing a great job. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Really means a lot. What's up, Dusty? What's up? Frenzo 240SX. David taking the hit, going to the three life already. Draws a card for the turn, has a, a, a small novel in hand. <laughs> Doing much better than I could with only a few hours of sleep. Yeah, we didn't get much sleep, that's for sure. Uh, but honestly, it's just the heat is what's killing me right now. Yeah, we didn't we did get a lot because I think we stayed up to like probably three, four in the morning, and then we went to the then we went to the uh, we went to the airport and didn't get that much sleep, and then we went to the actual got slept about three hours on the on the plane, so we have about three hours of sleep, which is actually not that bad. Usually about about on par with what I get a day. David already getting this uh, cell combo out, <laughs> taking as many cards as he can from his opponent's uh, hand here. Yeah, it really can be. I mean, you guys are right. I mean, it has been a little overwhelming today. I'll tell you that. Still beautiful here, though. <laughs> Absolutely, Lester. Do his, do his, but I might have to get like less like a big fan, like the Pharaoh chicks use, you know, that he can like fan me. Uh, no, I'm just I'm used to like. My wife actually sent me a picture of like it's snowing at, at, at back home. Yeah, palm. <laughs> yep, palm fronds. We don't have any of that stuff in West Virginia. All righty. Looks like Justin's at four life. So we have four to three life. David, you know, getting awakened very quickly here. Yeah, cell player extremely aggressive this game, which is uh, fantastic. The only problem I have with the cell player being this aggressive uh, is that if you're going to play this aggressively, I, I, I wonder why you just don't play androids. So I've, that's what I always thought of. So I've noticed that that's kind of what happened at Hartford. We had cell players that won, uh, played very aggressively, and it makes sense to me. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's like if you're going to play aggressive as cell, you might as well just not play cell, right? You might as well just play an aggressive leader like androids. Father, son, Kamehameha. There's father, son right there. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, he did. Absolutely. So here comes Boo coming down. Draw a card. Goku in a good spot here, obviously, after getting that uh, sellout. What's the meta like? Uh, yeah, still lost Soul Striker. A lot of androids. A lot of cell. A little bit of Frieza here and there. Sprinkled in ever so slightly. It's like Cell down to two life. Uh, quick game here, guys. The Cell player is going to go out. His opponent is at four life. Here's another Cell combo coming down. Five drop. Going to kill this Boo here. Justin's already taken his, already figured out what cards he wants to pitch here. What's your favorite deck as of now, Dusty? Uh, my Panhan deck that I've been on stream is my favorite deck right now. I love playing that deck. That deck is so much fun. I just like Pan as a leader. She's been one of my favorite favorite new leaders. She's so much fun. All right, Justin's taking a chance to look and see what he wants to discard from his hand. Again, remember, guys, we want to keep a negate here, removal from cell, and something else. Whether that be a Piccolo, Prince of Speed. See what happens here. See if David tries to uh, put him down to two life. Oh, gets in the gate. That's pa oh two negates. That's very important. I like that two negates off that draw is insane. He's gonna be able to put a lot of pressure on his opponent right here. But honestly, probably just knock his opponent down to two life here, unless Justin was able to keep in the gate. He wasn't. Gonna take two. Go to two. Swinging in with leader here, fifteen thousand to fifteen thousand. See if Justin decides to protect that or take it and go to five or go to one life. If he does, then that he could try to go in next turn. But what I would like to see David do here. Oh, he has double strike. He has double strike in hand. That's why he okay. Well, as it turns out, those double negates aren't very good. Little greedy from David. I think David says, you know what? I'm pretty sure I could beat you here, but I don't like I would I would keep one energy open. Game. Couldn't get there. Last card was results. So David is your winner playing an extremely aggressive style with uh cell uh guys again a little i think still a little greedy by david i think i would keep one energy open right you have two negates in hand you might as well keep one energy open if you don't go if you don't win i'm pretty sure you could stop anything your opponent plays next turn may i'm wrong maybe i'm absolutely wrong because he actually won the game so you can't you can't be upset when you win the game i don't care how you win it might you know you can nitpick it all you want but if you win the game, you did something right. And, uh, yeah, David showing uh, the power behind uh, Chompa for the structure Chompa. Still a powerful combo card. Nothing's going to change that. Uh, so, yeah, very, very powerful. Guys, I'm going to take a couple seconds here and take some questions from the chat. Uh, not a whole lot because, again, we're getting ready to get set up for our next round. Uh, quick last game. Absolutely quick last game. That was awesome. That was super fast paced. Like seeing it. I actually didn't expect it to end right there at all. I didn't even think about Chompa. I didn't see it in his hand the whole game. And all of a sudden, he just dropped it halfway through that combo. And I was like, holy moly, that's a, that's how you end the game real quick. That's what I'm talking about, guys. People just underestimate Chompa so much. Chompa terrifies me. I assume my opponent has, has it every time they attack me. Uh, which makes me lose some games, as it turns out. But it also makes me win some games. So, what you gonna do? Uh, guys, any questions at all, at 